Hey, today on Hostess Coach, we are going to be making something I saw and couldn't resist, Borson meatloaf. Are you kidding me? We uh, This is my nephew, Parker Hi. Midas, and he has a YouTube channel. You can follow him at Parker Midas, and he is in town visiting. So we are doing a show together here, something both our audiences would like. So we are doing this meatloaf. Now, I have doubled the recipe for meatloaf, um, but I will show you what's in here. We have two pounds of turkey, one pound of ground pork, and one pound of ground beef. You do any mix you like. I like to do the turkey just for calories, but still protein. So we are gonna throw in uh, one package of this Borson cheese for each um, pound of meat, for two pounds of meat, excuse me. So I've doubled the recipe, because we're gonna meal prep these. I'll show you, I bought some cute little things to meal prep these, so someone his age, who might be not be cooking for a family, can meal prep. In? In. I've never even seen this before. I don't even know. What is you Borson? Haven't? Well, you'll have to taste it. It's delicious. Uh, cheese for cheese and crackers. But there's all kinds of things. We actually, I have a show. I actually made the Borson. It's pretty good. Very from, garlicky. It's so good. And I made <laughs> the Borson from scratch, and it's delicious. I made it from scratch. So to this, we are going to add one onion that is grated. I grated it so it's nice. It'll mix into our um, all our meat nicely. Then we have four eggs. You can just crack them in that same bowl if you want. We're going to crack four eggs and get them mixed up so he will do that. While I start working on the spices here, I have some onion powder. I'm just going to put a little bit because we have our onion in there, but I want to make sure all of this meat gets nicely season. So I'm going to add another teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of uh, maybe half a teaspoon of garlic powder, just because we've got the garlic cheese and we're going to put real garlic in. So I got half a teaspoon. I've got about three cloves here, three or four cloves of garlic uh, pressed, crushed. So that's going in. And then I'm going to put about three teaspoons, let's put a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And so to this, a heaping teaspoon, and I'll put more. And how do you wake up your dried spices? Rub them between your hands. What? What does that just mean? Like that. Is that a thing? Is that yeah, a real it's a thing? thing? It's a real or thing. Or do you just make that up? No, it'll, <laughs> it'll livens up the, the spice. So there the four eggs are going in. I'm going to put a little splash more of this just because we have so much meat. I want it to be delicious. And then I'm going to do about a teaspoon of um, red pepper because this family, we like it with a little zippity doo mm -hmm. zippity doo day. And then I've got some smoked paprika. You know, I love Winco. So Winco is where I got my smoked paprika. Was, uh, was Winco like cost? I've never been to a Winco. Winco <laughs> has the bins, so you can get whatever you want just in the bins of, um, and get as much as you want. So I was oh. making something the other day and I needed some smoked paprika. So there you go. That's why I have some. I'm gonna put some salt. I like se uh, seasoned salt just because it's my preference. So I'm gonna do some seasoned salt, a teaspoon, because a uh, heaping teaspoon. And I'm gonna do some, I like the seasoned pepper. And the reason I'm pouring it out is because my teaspoon is wet. So that's a heaping teaspoon of pepper. And then we have everything in there. I think we do. So now, so my turn? It's your oh, turn. No. So he's going to go in there <laughs> with his hands. The best way to do this is just to go for it with your hands. Um, you don't want to over mix meatloaf because it gets tough. So you just want to mix it till everything is just mixed. And then um, we are going to get it ready for some meal prep. I have these really cute little um, mini loaf pans that I bought because that's single serving size. So if he was making this in his um, dorm room or just for himself for his meal prep, he could make them little single serving sizes and freeze them. So I'll show you, we're gonna wrap them in saran and get them ready to freeze. Now this right here, what, what you're seeing me do, this is a really important part. And it's also a great test of mental character <laughs> because you gotta really try to disassociate to what you're actually doing and just get the job done. <laughs> have to hunt the animals. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> they came to us just like this. Oh, you know what we could have used? One of uh, Gary's friends brought us some bear meat. Whoa. Ground bear meat. Is that legal? 
Yeah, I don't. It must be because we have some. <laughs> so he's a hunter, but it would probably be good in meatloaf. Isn't everything good in meatloaf? I love meatloaf, any kind, anywhere. Um, it's one of my favorites. So when I saw this recipe with the borscht and cheese, I mean, come on, how much more delicious could this be? Okay, about one more. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese too. Wait, you're not done yet. Just, just for fun. Some Parmesan. <laughs> Tell me when. <laughs> I happen to have it right in front of me. Of course, fresh grated. You know, we always grate our own cheese around here. So no pre-grated, because especially when you're gonna cook it, because it doesn't melt. It has that coating on there, so it doesn't stick. So always, always, always freshly grate your cheese for anything. And we do that around here. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Now we are not using a binder, so if you wanted to, you could use a cup or so, maybe a cup and a half of breadcrumb, or you could use some oatmeal. You could also use oatmeal as a binder in this, or you could grind up some Ritz crackers or whatever you like and use a binder. We are not going to, so A, it's gluten-free, and B, then it has no carbs in Am it. Am I done? Yeah, well you can go, yes. Well, okay. no, 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 because we're gonna fill the pans. So while your hands are still dirty, we will do some pans here. So like I said, single serving. So go ahead and give me a, mm -hmm. give me a single serving. Then pack that down because you want it when it cooks, it's going to shrink some, but we're going to freeze these. So you want to get them up to the edge, but not totally over the edge. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Looks delish, huh? It smells so good. It smells like garlic. So we're going to do a few of these. There you go our meal prepper. So besides the little meal prep ones, we're going to make an actual real size one. So I always freeze these. If I'm making, I usually make two regular size meatloafs with this much meat, four pounds of meat. So he's going to give me a, fill me up here. Now I have a parchment paper in there, A, just for easy cleanup, but B, I'm going to freeze it. So once I get the meatloaf in there, um, I'm gonna show you my trick for meatloaf and get it spread out there. Um, I would going to freeze it and then once it's frozen, I can pull the paper out once it's in a solid block and stick it in a Ziploc bag. It's because if you wanna use your meatloaf pan again or make banana bread, it's not in the freezer until you're ready to make meatloaf. So to this, um, before I finish it here, I am going to top it with a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of barbecue sauce. We like this devil's fit one from Famous Dave's. But I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on top. And frankly, you can do this before um, you cook it, but you know, after you have frozen it, or if you're gonna make it right away. So I'm just gonna put a little bit ooh, of our barbecue sauce on there. And then my extra secret special hack to make meatloaf delicious is before you cook it, so not necessarily before you freeze it, because the bacon, I've done it before, the bacon gets kind of wonky. Um, you take a couple strips of bacon, put them right on top before you cook it. Especially if I'm making turkey meatloaf, I will put some bacon on top because it just gives you a little flavor and a little more fat when you're using such a lean meat for your meatloaf. So that is one of my secret hacks for delicious Should have layered it in there. Well, we could have done that too. Didn't think about it. <laughs> so anyway, that is our meatloaf with borscht and cheese. I just saw that and knew we had to make it Parker dine here in his dirty hands. <laughs> but it's awesome to have my nephew here and helping me make some special things. We will um, let you know what this looks like when we get it done. So thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Follow Parker at Parker Midas. And you know how to subscribe here at Hostess Coach. Thanks for watching. Well, it's not the end. You're gonna, we're going to see him. We're going to see him again when we... Oh, we cook it? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess we'll cook <laughs> one. Okay, wait. Before you get done, then yeah. finish while your hands are dirty. We'll make this four meal prep. Okay, we are going to... We meal prep these. Mm -hmm. Aren't these cute? They turned out so cute. Our little mini size um, meatloafs here, our Borson meatloafs. So to freeze these, I'm going to wrap them, wrap it in plastic wrap very well, very gen uh, generously, because we don't want freezer burn on our yummy meat, uh, meatloaf. So wrap it nice and tight. Actually, I might wrap it twice, because again, we don't want any freezer burn on these. And then I'm going to, or Parker's going to, wrap it in foil. So wrap it. Which probably, way? Probably this way. 
just okay. so it's nice and airtight. And then what do we do around here? Label everything. Because you will not know what is in your foil package surprise. You know, a month from now, you will forget that you have these delicious little <laughs> meatloafs ready to cook. So we're going to label it. We're going to put the date on here. And then we're going to say meatloaf. So then we know in the freezer what is in our little package. So that's how I would meal prep these so they're ready to go. So when I want to cook it, pull it out, you know, let it thaw for a little bit if you want to, or just stick it in your toaster oven. Take the foil and the plastic wrap off. Then you can top it if you want with a little ketchup and a little barbecue sauce or whatever is your, fa your favorite on top. Maybe throw a piece of slice of bacon on top. I happen to have some right here. Throw a slice on top and then uh, put it in the uh, uh, oven. Cook it till it comes to 165 and you're ready to go. Easy, ready, pure protein. Fantastic. Ready to go. Yum. Yeah. There's your meatloaf prep. Thank you for being here, Parker. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have a guest, especially a special guest like my nephew here on the show. So thanks for watching.